mpenzi mtazamaji wa Shafi Online TV ni mimi wako Wiseswan nikiwa ndani ya studio zetu za Wise Spot. Nikiwa na mwenzangu King of Buza tukiwa tunaangalia matumizi mabovu ya matunda. Usisa uko subscribe, like, share, comment. Nitarudi muda usokuwa mrefu usibonyeze kidudi. Okay guys, is me your host Nuso aka the King of Buza. On to my side, I think this story imenuumiza na inaniboa kabisa. And most people wenye ambao wanafanya matumizi mabaya ya matunda, most of them nawajua ni vinsezi nikataja fadharani wise one. Siwezi. And most of them ni marafiki zangu hivi. Chanda na pete. But by the time mwambie mtu unavutumia kiukamba vibaya someone is like, "Maisha ni yangu, it's my life, just go on with your life. Let my life be." Wanaume wako, wanaume wako. Okay guys, I'm going to talk into our first food, ni kiukamba. Mnatangaje kwa Kiswahili? Kiukamba. Yeah. Kiukamba. Yeah. Mimi sijui kwa Kiswahili, bwana. Mimi najua ni kiukamba, kiukamba. No, there's this kind of a musician mwenye ambaye limba Tanzania. Oh, tango. Tango. Eh, tango. So, let me tell you how this thing people use it. A woman figure out that this tango or kiukamba is like a penis. So by the time the woman is high, he attempts to take that to kamba, he used it so that he can satisfy herself. My dear sister. Which one? You know the larger that thing is. Lakini unajua mimi wanishangaza. Umetumia neno he. Maana yake ni wanamume. No, she. Yo, nimetumia neno he because they figure out that that kamba is like a he. Ni hiyo kitu nini kitu gani nyamboga inaingia huko chini? Ni kitu gani ya nyambaya alishanga mwanamke kwa chini kama si hii? Ni ni kitu gani? Pombokolo. Pombokolo. Peke yake. Peke yake. Peke yake sasa tafuta nini nyingine tu. Hakuna, si ndio? Lakini mwanamke ako radhi. Achukue. Kitu yenyewe ni kubwa ta 20, hata vitu vingine za shinda za binadamu. Then the person is just satisfied. Ako sawa nayo ameridhisha. That's why into that the last topic ambayo niliongelea it was all about masturbation. And among of the masturbation things ambayo tunatumia ngali nini kiukamba. Eh, yeah, makubwa. Kwa hivyo kiukamba inatumika pia kama ombokolo. Twame twame twende kwingine, twende kwingine. Ah, uh, mimi amenudi. Ingine, mimi nataka unaelezee ubora. Pia nisikie the going ahead paka kwa carrots. 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 Carrots ni nyama inatumika into sight a woman does it so that it can satisfy herself into sexual issues. Jambo la kwanza nitaangazia madhara yenye kupatikana katika mtu kufanya No no I think you should not give them the effect just tell them how the, the item they always use into masturbating themselves and they always do to satisfy themselves mostly fruits matunda Yenye Mungu alisema chukueni mle mjijenge mwili nutrition lakini binadamu sisi wa huu tuna maudhi tunatumia kujiridhisha na Na kuna vovote vile venye naweza kuambia bila kuambia mara. Ah ah waambie kwanza tuyatajwe akawa kijua tumefika kwa karo tuelezee karo tunafanya nini. Kujua kwa karo tunaenda kwa ingine alafu after hapo ndio tuambie nani madhara yao. Unajua karoti karoti inatumika kwa kutengeneza mboga na kutengeneza sala haijatengenezwa kwa virutubishi ya kujiridhisha nyie katika kufanya ngono ama mapenzi kivinyo. Karot ina faida nyingi kwenye mwili na madhara yake ni nyingi kushinda faida ikiwa utaitumia vibaya. Tuende kwenye tunda nyingine. Unajua? Sasa nyingine common paka back in high school nilikuwa naona. Okay, in our school it was every Wednesday. Lazima tungepoa banana. Kiswahili we call it ndizi. Every Wednesday lazima tungepoa banana. For this girl who they always use that banana in a bad way, wakoradi wangezunguka shule mzima wakitafuta the biggest banana. Huh? Biggest banana. Pamoja. No, no, no. No, I've never tried that thing. Okay, why is one? I can do all those kind of dirty thing. Eh? Mm-hmm. All those of that of but there's one thing I'll swear I'll never do it. I masturbating myself. I using some item into my body and there men outside there. Men nowadays are de- desperate. But you'll find some of men that have gone ahead that they're behaving like prostitute. They're selling their body before you you go there for fuck you have to pay them. That's why I think some of the girls go ahead and do sort of the shit. So I think you'll find that this person you will get the banana. By the time people goes to sleep, that is the time they always penetrate that banana. Then the funny thing wanabambua 
wanapobambua wanatumia pali pale ambako tunakulianga ndizi. Na unajua muhimu wa ndizi kwa mwanamke ni nini? Inaongeza na faida nyingi. Ya kwanza ina simulate inaongeza uh, hamu ya kufanya ile tendo. Ya pili inaongeza So mimi nadhani venye nani anaongeza hamu wanapoongeza ni kama hamu ndio zidi. Ni mimi anajua nisikia Unapokula ndizi pia inaongeza umbo la mwanamke. Mm. Lakini hawa mabinti wenzetu this kind of ladies my friend they think the best way to use that thing ni kujipenetrate wenye. Na pia uh, tukirudi kwenye ndizi ndizi sio tu kwa kutafuna hapana. Ndizi ambayo inaongeza shape kwa mwanamke ni matoke. Siju Kiingereza mnaita. Yeah, matoke haina jina nyingine. Haina jina nyingine. Yeah, think so matoke, matoke ndio yenye kuongeza shape kwa wanawake na ndio maana utakuta kuna tofauti ya wanawake wa kiganda na wanawake walopigwa yeah, pasi. Yeah, Uganda so, that's so nice. They got yeah. the fine us. Ndoy. They got wako na Alafu tena kwa. kuna different. Yeah. Ukiama ukienda Rwanda mm. utapata wale ambao wako Kosovo. Kosovo maana yake hawana kitu. Kosovo. Yeah, yani yeah. lakini wamepewa sura. Bongingo. Bongingo. Yeah, not for what they don't have the. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So unakuta kuna faida ya vyakula kupitia hizi matunda ambazo ikiwemo ndizi na vitu vingine. Kwa hivyo kwa matumizi mazuri ni kama hivyo. Tungegusia tu madhara mbili tatu ambayo uh, inapatikana lakini muda ituruhusu kubakia ndani ya studio. Tunawaambia msisa au subscribe, like, share, comment. King of Buza inafaa tuende zetu nyumbani lakini naona kuna kitu atakusema kitu gani. Okay guys, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. We'll not postpone this thing. They have to know madhara yao. Disadvantage do that kama ni wakuacha aache. Sisi wale kwa Mungu tulitumwa kuelezea. So kindly please the wise one. Elezea madada zetu, mandugu zetu, wenye ambao anafanya. Sikia za kitabu cha kinanuma wanaume na kilizao za. Na kilizao timamu. Wapi utumia? Mm. So me the best thing I shall uh, na, na kuomba tu. Na kuomba am um, kindly please. Guys, just drop your comment there. Come on, you any effect but all in all the wise one has to tell us this. Yani the effect beside those things. Venyaga mnatumia matunda in a bad way. Hata mna adabu waone. Ndio hivyo. Ah, yaonekana tena itabidi unibandike cheo cha doctor ama PhD. Oh, PhD. Diploma. Okay, for today I have to give it. Juu kitu baada inanikera. Eh. Imagine mimi binadamu inanikera. Je, muumba mwenye mbali umba mimea? Hebu niite kwanza doctor. Okay, doctor my doctor the wise one. Ndio. Eh. Sasa acha tuanze na tango. Tango kitu cha kwanza kime imetengenezwa kwa mfumo wake maalum. Tango inategemea na ukubwa wa tango. Kuna tango ndogo, tango kubwa na tango ile ambayo Nandi anaipenda. Yeye mwenyewe anataka tango. So, hii tango faida yake ni kuwa itakupa faida nyingi kwenye mwili ya kiafya. Ukiitumia kuifanya kama mpenzi, ukaingiza sehemu yako ya siri, maana yake mwanamke ameumbwa kwa maumbile dhaifu. Ukijingiza sehemu zako za siri, Sehemu ya siri haitokuwa kwa mfumo ule. Wakati ambapo utaingia kwenye mahusiano ama utaingia kwenye ndoa, yule ambaye atakuwa na wewe atashindwa kukuridhisha wewe kwa sababu tayari wewe ushajiwekea mfumo ambao kwamba yeye hatoweza. Ya pili kila mwanamke mwenye kujiridhisha kupitia mkono wake, kidini amelaaniwa na ya pili hawezi kufikia homo zake huwa zinakuwa haziwezi. Sawa sawa na mwanamume kama King of Buza alivyosema akifanya masturbation aweze kufanya ngono hadi ajifanyie ile masturbation ndo aweze kufanya ha, excuse me the way so antafadha tusibiane sifa nimesema hapa i've not even dare use masturbation tusibiane sifa uko na mke sina mume i'm still in the way of searching so usini block njia don't block my ways oh don't block my ways a human who masturbates himself he cannot satisfy by a man paka mwenye amasturbate so the best thing to do is naribia jina okay guys nimesema i've never dare use masturbate in myself sije sema kwa ni shay masturbate kindly please msifuate maneno huyu huwa nakwanga muongo daktari mwingine tena huyu ni which doctor so msha chuo ndo maana naongelea mama aya nenda pili carrot carrot hii carrot ukitumia jambo la kwanza mbele iko sharp ya pili wewe mwanamke katika se ndani uh, that sharpness ndo ah. wawashwe Oje bona ke pena vijingine daifu wengine fani so sharpness ya nini dada nataka awashwe yeah kwanza mbele iko sharp alafu najipo alafu the funny thing iko rough cucumber iko smooth lakini kuna zingine ziko rough 
maybe yenye ambayo imekoma mm. but ukipata that good cucumber ambayo ndani zanga kachumbari inakuanga fresh but for carrots inakuanga na roughness unaona venyeko mm-hmm. then for banana yenye ambayo natumianga sana iko smooth so i think for the carrot or ngizangi yote hiyo mm. kitu kwanza alafu ya pili na madhara ambayo inapatikana kwenye carrot ukishafanya hivyo tuachane na banana jo banana ina kisa ambayo inshaithibitisha ishawe kuiona imetokea sehemu hiyo kisa nitawa hapa mwisho kitu ambacho inafanyika ukijiingiza kitu chochote ambacho Mungu amekiharamisha kwenye mwili wako kisayansi ama kitiba huwa inaenda kuharibu mfumo wa uzazi inaenda kuharibu unakuta kuna baadhi ya wanawake wanapata period mara mbili mara tatu kwa mwezi na kabla ya hapo alikuwa anapata mara moja tu kwa mwezi. Ya pili, yeye wakati ambapo anatafuta kizazi, huwa hata ile mayai inashindwa kwa sababu imekuwa weak. Umeilazimisha mwili kuwa na mfumo wa kujiridhisha yenyewe kila wakati. Kwa hivyo mayai imekuwa ikisongea songea karibu lakini inakosa mbegu za kiume, inarudi hadi imekuwa ndo maana wengine wanazaa watoto wavivu hawezi kufanya kazi kwa sababu ya tabia hizo ambazo zimekuepo. Tukija tukiingia kwa sehemu ya tatu ni kitu gani kingo? Banana ndizi. Ndizi. Mm. The conky one. The, conky. the main one. Kosovo. Kosovo or couscous hiyo. Aha. Ndizi kuna kisa iliwahi kutokea. Uh, dada mmoja alikuwa ameenda zake kazi nchi za ugaibuni. Mm-hmm. Na madada zetu akienda kusafiri anafanya kazi kwa muda wa miaka miwili. Wengine wanafanya hadi miaka minne. Na huko ukifika kuna ma boyfriend kama huku Afrika ama hapa Kenya ama nchi zingine Tanzania Uganda wapi hivyo so yule dada alivyokuwa yofanya kazi pale isia ikampanda na ndo maana Mungu ameharamisha usijishike sehemu zako za siri kwa mwanamume na kwa mwanamke yule akawa na figure out alikuwa na mahusiano japokuwa alikuwa hajaolewa akawa na figure out namna gani anaweza anafikiria venye alikuwa anafanya hivi na vile but mbaya akawa ameletewa ndizi na mdosi wake ndizi hizo akaambiwa hifadhi kwenye friji akachukua ile ndizi ilikuwa mbichi mbichi haijaiva sana ndio ujue Mungu anaweza akakupangia kifo kizuri ama kibaya ndio ujue ina afya mbaya na ina kitu yani badala ya faida nzuri inaweza ikakuua yule alichukua ile ndizi akaichambua kaanza kuifanya kana kwamba ni mwanamume yuko naye wanafanya mapenzi ndizi hile ikakatikia ndani ilivyokatikia ndani yeye akashindwa kumwambia tajiri yake nilifanya hivi na vile na ndo maana ujue kila kitu Mungu ameiweka sehemu yake na kitu maalumu ndo ingie pale. Ikambidi yeye akae siku ya kwanza, ya pili, ya tatu na sehemu ya chini imeziba, haiwezi kutoka. Bahati mbaya, kumbe Mungu alivyoumba huko chini kisayansi, maana yake ni kuwa usipopata hewa na isipokuwa open ndani panaoza. So baada ya siku tatu ikawa ameoza huko chini hadi wakawa nadhani kuna kitu ambacho kwamba kimekufa ndani ya nye, ndani ya nyumba. So ya yeah, kumbe ni yeye yeah, sehemu zake za siri. Baada ya kujulikana hivyo alivopelekwa hospitali siku ya nne yake. Kufika pale daktari alivomuona ikawa tayari imemsababishia maradhi ya kansa ya uzazi. Fikiria maradhi ya kansa ya uzazi maana yake hutaishi muda mrefu ama utaitatolewa kizazi alafu okay. wewe hauko na kitu. Kwa hivyo kila kitu unachokifanya ujue kina madhara yake na kila kitu ambacho unakikula ina madhara na ina faida. Kwa hivyo usijui unaweza kuongeza nini king of guza mimi nataka kwenda zangu home. Okay venye okay venye why so na my spoke out wanawake mmesikia in everything we do kila siku nawaambia in everything we do ka ukijua kuna ubaya wake hakuna kitu chenye ambacho utafanya dadangu ama brother yangu hapo nje kitakosa kuwa na madhara so be careful usiwafanya masturbate so that uridhishe mtu mwingine usiwafanya ju rafiki yako anafanya just do it knowing that hiyo ni makosa ndio maana kila siku nawaambia ishu ukiomba Mungu unapolala unapoamka ukuwe na hekma usikuwe na hekma ile ya jana bali ukuwe na hekma ya kukataa kitu kibaya na kukubali kitu kizuri okay guys thank you for your time still me your host nusa nimekuwa leo na mwenzangu the wise one Continue to subscribe like share into our comment bila nyinyi sisi si kitu and okay guys today really we want to appreciate you guys for 3 months tumekuwa mahali Day by day tunapolala tukiamka we are seeing that 
mna view mna subscribe you always share our links and that is always we always appreciate that guy and thank you guys just have a blessing day kama tumekuhudhi just drop your comment kama unaona kuna kitu ambacho tunafaa to add up on to our next topic guys just drop your comment tuko hapa kwa ajili yenu tuko hapa kuwafunza na nyinyi pia kutufunza tunafanya research juu ya ndugu zetu na mabrada zetu pale nje bye bye waison waambie kwa heri a mimi nawaambia kwa heri ila pia mkihitaji banana niko nazo tango pia niko nazo sasa wewe ndio haribu okay guys we are off Bye bye it is here at our waste but just have a lovely day <laughs>